Hello again. As a sequel to my last recording, we'll do something with debugging. And that is a, uh, an area where Trust Rover falls short a bit, at least at this moment, because we're seeing, as I mentioned, a very early preview of this otherwise excellent IDE. We're starting off where we left off the last time, with the visitor pattern program. So, in order to debug, we'll set a breakpoint, which is very easy in Rust Rover. Just click here and we have a breakpoint. What you can do is, you can have a condition, you can have enabled, you can have uh, a once hit. One, if you, that means hitting the breakpoint once, stopping there, and then it is removed or disabled. But that is not necessary for now. So let's see. I'll make this a bit bigger because that's what we'll need. Hit the bug here and we'll hit the run. We'll start to debug. You can see the track trace here. It's not really interesting at this moment. Just press F8. And we'll see that we instantiate the vector, which has size zero, so there's nothing in there. Then we'll instantiate the first box with a person in it, and well, looks normal. And I expect the same goes for Bob and for Acme. No problem. And then we'll push all three of them to the elements array. And then we'll see a problem. Because I really can't tell what's in here. All I know is that it's something that implements element, but what it is exactly I can't see it. I think that is a bit well, I think it's a rough edge, not just a bit of a rough edge. It's a rough edge. This should be improved in the next versions. Let's see what happens if we go into the loop. Element. Again, because we have a dynamic element in the box, apparently the debugger can't find it, and we have the same problem that we had in the vector. And we can in step into this. Let's see what this what this visitor is. This is a person. Yes. But this is a visitor. No other information is available. Step over this. step into this and next we see the organization if we go into the implementation and we see the right object back again it's not really well it is a big problem but you can work around it by going into the methods we'll just run this program and we'll see the same output that's it. As you can see, there are some rough edges around debugging, and I hope, I sincerely hope, that JetBrains gets around to solving these. Okay, see you in the next video, and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.